Hey everybody, it's Joshua Fields Milburn from The Minimalists. Welcome back to Living Room Conversations. We're here in my living room in Los Angeles. And today's question is from Lemon. Lemon asks, when have you taken minimalism too far? Well, I take minimalism too far all the time, to be honest with you. And I do so deliberately. Uh, let me try to explain that. So uh, I'm 36 years old now, but throughout my 20s, I, I spent a lot of my 20s in this sort of consumerist, overindulging mindset. If I, if I saw something at a store, some sort of accoutrement or trinket or knickknack or, or shiny widget, I felt compelled to, to not just purchase the thing, but consume the thing, own the thing, possess the thing, bring the thing into my life because I thought it would make me happy in some hypothetical future. If I just had the right number of things, if I could fill my space with the things that would make me happy, then I would live the most complete life. In order to live a complete life, I thought I needed that, uh, the, 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 the bread maker and the toaster and the right ironing board and this shiny thing, that shiny thing, all of the stuff, the throw pillows and the rugs and the, the runners. And, and once I had the right mix of things, then of course I would be fulfilled. I'd be happy. I'd be complete. And so I discovered this thing called minimalism in my, in my late twenties. And as many of you know, I've been following along for a while. I, I started simplifying my life over the course of about eight months. I got rid of 90% of my, my, of my material possessions in eight months. And as I let go, I started feeling freer and happier and lighter. And I realized that I could let go of more things. There were so many things in my life that weren't serving a purpose. They weren't adding value to my life. They didn't bring me joy in any way. And so as I let go, I started letting go of more and more and more. And then I started questioning the things I was holding on to. I'm like, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting value from this widget. You know, for me, this is a, is a notebook. And, and I get value from it. But then I would even question, like, do I really get value from it? Or am I just using this thing because it's something I've done in the past? Will I continue to get value from it in the future? And so I will temporarily deprive myself of certain things. I will get them out of my life. Or I'll wait to buy new things. Quite often, especially if it's something over $100, I'll wait 30 days as a, as a good rule of thumb to bring that thing into my life. And it allows me to question that thing. That temporary deprivation adds, injects a little bit of pain into your life. Not suffering, but you realize like, oh, I might get value from this thing. But by, by waiting, by depriving myself, by taking minimalism too far for just a little bit, I've realized that many of the things I thought would add value to my life, they actually don't. I don't need all of the things that I thought I needed. And all the things that I used to have that were adding value, they didn't keep adding value. And so I had to be willing to, to let go and then question the things that I bring into my life going forward. And when I do that, I guess you could say I'm taking minimalism a little bit too far. I'm depriving myself, but only temporarily. I don't want to deprive myself long term. I'm not trying to live like a monk or an ascetic. Uh, I, in fact, I want to live in the real world, in the regular world. And minimalism is a tool that allows me to live in that regular world in an intentional way. So when do I take minimalism too far? When have I taken it too far? All the time, but only incrementally. It's not about throwing all your stuff out into a dumpster and then you'll automatically be happy. It doesn't work like that. But testing the edges, testing the limits, figuring out what things I truly get value from because that's the beautiful paradox of this whole thing. I get far more value from the few items that I own now than if they were watered down by tens of thousands of other useless items that I don't get value from at all. All right, y'all, if you have a question for Living Room Conversations, you can leave it below in the comment section on YouTube. And if you like these answers, then of course you can subscribe to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow.